Hey, this is Asha. Welcome to another episode here on Backstage Income, where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable business. Now, in today's episode, what I want to do is go ahead and share with you how to go and use Trello within your business or your personal life. So you can see how I've used it in the past. I went ahead and actually we're moving to a new project management tool, which I'll tell you about towards the end and why we've done that. But Trello is a very powerful tool, especially if you're just getting started in the online business space or you're just looking for something that's easy to manage uh, projects tasks that kind of thing Trello is fantastic because it's free it gives you a lot of power flexibility it integrates with just about everything and it's a time saver to organize your thoughts now the one big 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 downside is once you have multiple teammates things can be overwhelming of which tasks is whose and how to really manage and hop around between different kind of divisions uh, or segments within your kind of uh, company um, and things like that. So I'll share that with you here towards the end as we get there. Uh, but basically, let's jump into Trello, how to use it for project management. And I'll show you a few of the boards that I've had in the past. And again, we're slowly paring these kinds of things down, uh, but you'll kind of get an inside look behind the scenes of how I've used it before. So here's kind of my old uh, Trello board here. And as you can take a look here, uh, you can see there's a couple of boards that you can star. So if you star a board, it'll go up there. And those would be kind of the more common and used ones. Uh, you might have some personal things. You can create kind of teams, as you can see here. I have personal boards, Rise to Learn, which would be the company, uh, Sasha and Family. So this would be kind of a family board. So maybe we put some medical notes, meal ideas for the week, those kinds of things in there. And if you access those regularly, you could put that at the top for you and maybe for your teammate or other member, it wouldn't be there, right? Uh, so this would be kind of your account. Now, looking at it from a business perspective, all my business stuff would go right here in this Rise to Learn section. I had many more boards before. It could be like webinars, it could be content creation, books, project ideas, many of those things that would just be dumped all in here. Uh, now, I went ahead and slowly start paring things down, but, Let's just dig a little bit deeper. Let's say you're a content manager and you're managing some content for people, or maybe you're managing content for your own blog. Well, the way that we do it is we always start with kind of a video format, and then we convert that video to uh, an article, that article to add affiliate links, screenshots, those kinds of things. So it's kind of a four, five, six pro uh, part process, depending on how deep you wanna get into each part of the process. So if I open up kind of this content uh, concept here or content board you can see here's my teammates at the very top and um, when you look at these teammates you can see hey this is this week's tasks uh, this is some things to finalize and maybe review this is next on the list uh, more backstage income things I'm waiting on uh, could be transcriptions are complete here these are ready to add to the website these need affiliate links added to them here we need to generate some thumbnails uh, here we need to create PDFs, like if you're doing a PDF download on the bottom of your website, uh, create PDF documents. So you can see, and here's kind of fully complete. So the whole point behind Trello is you're moving things left to right. So let's say this is our whole step and process. Here's kind of uh, these things on the list and you're just trying to move them from left to right. And if my process would start was starting from, let's say I'm, the transcriptionist doing the website stuff and I take it from the transcription to putting it on the website. Well, I went ahead and let's say, say transcription is complete. I wanna add it to the website. Once it's added to the website, boom. Now the affiliate manager would go ahead and take care of it from there. So if you have an affiliate manager, they would go ahead and take it from this board to the next board, maybe the next person who does the thumbnails or something like that. Um, you could go ahead and assign this to one single individual person as well. So let's say you have one big person that takes care of all of this, which is possible, of course, but then they would do the transcriptions, the uh, PDF generation, adding it to the website, all those kinds of things. Then they would go ahead and just kind of manage this whole board. So that's kind of how the content process works and how Trello overall works. Uh, of course, you could go ahead and include attachments. So here could be an attachment file. You could include custom fields. You can assign even team members. So let's just say I want to go ahead and assign this to myself. Then it would go ahead and put my face there. So you can see there, uh, now there's my face right there. And you could go ahead and sort these um, in, in the sense of, hey, which ones are just 
uh, mine, I could go ahead and hit the Q, which is a shortcut, and then you can just see all the ones assigned to me. So if I go ahead and uh, hover, hover over this, hit spacebar, it assigns it to me right away. And now again, I hit Q and you can see those two are assigned to me. So there's a lot of shortcuts there that you could go ahead and do within uh, Trello. You can also see here, if we go ahead and look at maybe, uh, let's say, the um, there's the power-ups. So with the power-ups right here, there's a lot of different power-ups like uh, NoteJoy, Number Stacks, Google Drive, Slack, Custom Fields, uh, Calendar, Voting, Card Repeater. So there's a lot of things that you could do. And this is one of the huge advantages when it comes to Trello is that there's a lot of power-ups that you could incorporate from analytics and reports, uh, card aging to uh, automation, things that you could do with Zapier, board utilities, there's a lot. Um, so if you have any kind of major integrations that you need done, Trello is very handy. Now, the big drawback, of course, is going from these boards. And if you have a person that's managing multiple things in multiple areas, so let's say, hey, we have content here. We also maybe have connections. So you might create like a connections board where it's like, hey, these are some of the competition or maybe connections you want to make or popular stars you're trying to keep track of. So all of these things, if you're going through that and you want to take notes on them, you know, you can put in their kind of their, their Facebook links, their uh, website links. You could put in like some events and seminars people are attending to. Um, so you could go ahead and do that. But the problem is, is if a team member is managing, let's say, the connections and the content, and you're kind of tagging them and assigning things to them, you kind of have to hop around from board to board and really watch your notifications. So it makes it very difficult to really just see your list of tasks without going into that board. So that's kind of the problem. We went ahead and we've looked at Asana and we've looked at kind of ClickUp uh, and many other project management tools. And this one has been kind of the one that's been uh, the best for our team needs. So here's kind of click up. Uh, you know, we have a couple of things in there. And uh, of course, you can go ahead and sort it by some administrative tasks. You can do it based on uh, products and progress. You can, it's much more complicated, which is a whole other video on its own. Uh, but this is better for multiple users uh, beyond Trello in probably three, four, five users and plus. You could do the same thing with Asana, Rike. There's many other project management tools. So that's kind of the main disadvantage behind Trello. Otherwise, huge, powerful tool. Because what you could end up doing is creating kind of a board specifically for an individual teammate. And if you do that, so let's just say, hey, this is mine and someone wants me to look at something, well, they could go ahead and, you know, if they're looking at their board or a content board, uh, you could go ahead and right click and here go into, let's just say move or copy, and I could move it to a kind of another board uh, over there, and then that card would get moved. Now for me, this was kind of my big summary board that I used to use, so here's some of the up next things that I would look at, maybe here's some things on my calendar, what's due, some critical tasks next on the list, miscellaneous tasks, some big projects in progress, it could be some books and filming things that I'm uh, looking to do, and maybe go ahead and look at some personal things as well, like hey, marriage benefits, uh, social security things, uh, video tax forms that I had to do. So all those things uh, were in there because this was my own personal board. But if you look at it kind of like at a team level, well, at the rise to learn level right there, my company level, well, if people have scattered projects, this would be the disadvantage. Otherwise, you know, uh, the tool itself is fantastic because let's say, hey, we're, here's all our uh, products and projects we're working on. Uh, here's kind of ebook study guides. Let's say I move this over. Hey, when we get kind of this study guide complete, I could just move it over here. When we get this one done, I just move it over here. And then I could either review it or delete those tasks and call it a done day. So anyways, this is kind of how you would go ahead and use Trello at a basic level uh, for maybe your team or maybe uh, your own personal self. You can invite members, of course, uh, so you can add uh, additional members in here. You can create another board if you want to start from scratch. Uh, you know, you could create one and then you basically just start it out. Hey, uh, let's say this week, 
uh, things to do. Maybe here's a Monday, you could do it, here's a Tuesday. So whatever you wanna do and however you wanna structure it, um, you know, I need to go, let's say grocery store. And then once this is done, you could have kind of a done list and you could just kind of move that over there. So that's the basic premise is it moves left to right. You're trying to get things done. Uh, if things are completely done, you just hit, um, you kind of roll over it, hit C, close it out, archive it, and it's kind of done. So it's quick with shortcuts. But again, as you build your team, it becomes a little more cumbersome. So be careful in that level, but otherwise that's kind of the basic way that you would use Trello for project management, for your own to-do list, uh, and get things going. I don't wanna go into too much into the setup and details of it um, because there's many other videos and tutorials of that, but an inside look behind the scenes, this is how you should think about it, is that you create kind of a big board either around a topic or around a person, and you're just kind of moving these little uh, cards around from one thing to the next, left to right, or from one board to the other, as you get things done. Now you could have teams not just by company, you could have a team, let's just say you have a, a marketing team, you could have a social media team if you have a bigger company, uh, you could have, uh, let's just say a customer support team, you could do it in that way as well, but again, that starts to add up between the multiple boards. Uh, we also used to have kind of a training board where all our videos would be kind of listed there and linked up where people can watch the trainings on how to do some things, uh, company policies, those kinds of things. So again, it's really sky's the limit, just depends on um, if you like the use and the concept of this Kanban moving left to right. Now for us, we use ClickUp and you can do kind of the board uh, concept here as well. Uh, so you can see here, you can just kind of move things left to right also. So, hey, this one's open in progress, filming, so you can do it just the same way. And many other tools now are kind of going into this way where you can flip in terms of a timeline view, uh, whereas a calendar view, a list view, board views, all these kinds of things. And that way you can really just hop around from one thing to the next, depending on the view that your team or person that's on your team likes to work in. For example, a developer may like to work on the Kanban like a Trello, and a content manager may like to see a list of all the content that's there that needs to be done. So really look for your team, see what's more important for them, try things out, switch if it's not working, and make some adjustments and find what works for you. There's not one perfect project management tool for every company, it's just a matter of which one's flexible for your company and your business and for your needs. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in this week's episode. I hope you found it helpful, insightful. If you have questions uh, about this video episode or maybe you wanna get some more insight on Trello or some other project management tools, be sure to go to our website, backstageincome.com and uh, you know you can live chat with us, send us an email, or take a look at some of the resources that we recommend because we constantly update those as well. But if you wanna get insight news, on when I release new training products on business, uh, podcasting, eBooks, these kinds of tools, uh, then be sure to sign up to our newsletter list by clicking the link right over here, enter your name and email address when you get there, and I'll be sure to send you those emails as new content and trainings are released. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.